Now I'm talking to you. You connect to the net, right? Well, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. Corporations say the new net is safe and secure. That they've learned from past mistakes. From up in their ivory towers, everything must look all nice and pretty. But they're wrong. The net is just a rusty car with a fresh coat of paint. A heap of dog shit spritzed with perfume. The demons we released into the net have not gone anywhere. Deadly viruses, artificial intelligences that exist only to destroy. Netrunners consumed in the net's tangled webs, their minds lost to the void. Have you heard of the prison of souls, about Paul Cunningham and the Soul Killer? No? Well then, buckle up, because I've got... Huh. Netwatch never sleeps. a man who must meet justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. Chingados, metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman. Hey, Carrubo, ¿no this one? <laughs> there he's getting a new metal rib <laughs> go 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 out of my side Nada madre, esto no está bien. Es hora de dar un paseíto.
Hey, Karubo! Know this one? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I already see Karubo in the fiery jaws of hell. I hear his piercing screams. I smell the sinner's burning flesh. In other words, my heart is full of joy. Contract closed. Go with God.
Koyakan. Everything you need to for the perfect quinceanera. Talk later. Bye, Akondios. Thanks.
It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody Mike, will bother we're us. We're talking about the cornerstone um, of my platform. Bother us doing what exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because Nike. You'll know in a minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass. I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Generally wise, I guess. Mayor Ryan's death. You couldn't quite figure that one out. But I like how you work. I know I can trust you to be thorough. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. 
Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure Veal turns something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Hm. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. This is where we sleep. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement? Any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, a 
Of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Under my own roof. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me.
Odd. Tech's practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for, though? Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in.
Vote for Perales. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. This is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah, about to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second.
Jam-packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info. Or detect any mods. They don't mass-produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Ear jacking. Either security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis? Well, whoever it is, aren't true to Definitely the not your ordinary fan. I think it's time I. We're about to find out. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be Corpo's spies, or who the fuck knows what. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Gonna lose them if you don't pick up the pace. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections.
Come on out, you little chicken shit! Huh? Be your friend. It's just a matter of time, motherfucker.
in my sights!
installing update. This may take several minutes. Something's not right. Pierced we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. 
Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Hey, you there. Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, primus shit of a scroll. What have you got? For you, bro? Best the Night City has to offer. And that would be? The most Nova spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? What's on the virtue? Real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, transsensational, adrenaline pumping shit, yo. Your mind will blow us low, bruh! You gotta trust me on this! Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Second toast? Third Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? 
I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'd destroy him. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. 
prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You're truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Ah, you want to have a good time? I'm ready. You're ready? Mmm. Come back, please? Huh. Your eyes are fucked up, man. I'm glad you can oh. see it. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Pathetic. I barely hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell that's sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chumba. Ain't half bad. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. <laughs> now, isn't that what every failed artist says about their work? Know what? You're right. I failed. Corpo tyrants still run this town, just like 50 years ago. But if you think in my heart of hearts I want to be the next teen idol, think again. Don't give half a fuck about that commercial shit. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh, me 
to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? Well, I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. The jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? Isn't it weird that you're a virtuous politician, candidate? <sighs> Flattered, but no. I'm far from it. Though I try my best? What's this got to do with anything? How many people can honestly say they don't strike deals with gangs or take Eddie some corpse? A lot, I'd like to think. They just haven't introduced themselves yet. Almost like this city doesn't deserve someone like you. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? 
out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. Ah. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! Got no idea how we go about doing that. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Worst thing anyone can do to a person is strip them of their sense of self. I'd fight back too. They've made me a winner. <laughs> and they're gonna regret that. For now, I'll let them think they're pulling the strings. Good luck. My god. I have to tell Liz! Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And the same with your eddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Thank you.